What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about some of the best ways that you can study vocabulary when you're learning a new language. And I've learned multiple different languages, so I've spent a lot of time studying vocabulary. Um, and so I found some good ways to do it and some ways that are not as useful. And so I want to talk to you today about some of those. So the first thing that I do when I'm learning a new language is I write out a personal phrase book that is specific and personal to me. Because if you take Duolingo or you take a Spanish class or you listen to your Pimsleur or Rosetta Stone or whatever it is, they're going to teach you very generic vocabulary that they think is going to be the most general for everyone that's learning the language. Um, but the problem is you're not a general person. You're specific and you have specific interests, you have specific needs, and you're different from everyone else. So the vocabulary that you need to learn is different from what everyone else is learning. So that's why the first thing that I always do is I create my own personal phrase book. And you can see I'm learning Romanian, so um, I'm just starting with my vocabulary. And I've written out some um, phrases that are actually personal and specific to me, things that I would want to say that they're not going to teach you in a Duolingo class because not everyone is going to be as specific about these things as you are. Um, I'm learning Romanian. I make YouTube videos. I'm an English teacher. So most language learning platforms are going to teach you the word teacher. And they'll probably teach you... I don't know, lawyer and doctor and a few other common things. But if you're a mathematician, you're not going to learn that from Duolingo or from Rosetta Stone. So that's why you're going to go and you're going to create um, a list of words that are specific to you. So you're going to brainstorm about things that might come up in your specific conversations. And then you're going to write down all the things that you think might come up in the first conversation that you're going to have. One of my hobbies is learning languages. So um, I'm going to learn how to say that because that's one of the things that I talk about when I'm talking with people in foreign languages. And here are all the languages that I speak. Um, so I don't need to know how to say I speak German. I don't need to know how to say I'm learning German because that will never come up in one of my conversations. I'm not learning German. I'm not learning Russian. I'm going to want to learn those words eventually, but right now at the beginning when I'm just getting my feet wet, I'm not trying to bog my minds down with all these extra vocabulary words that I'm never going to use. These are words that I know I'm going to use when I'm speaking with people in Romanian because these are things that are important to me. And once you get all those down, um, then you're going to move on to what I call conversation helpers. So these are little things that you can say that are going to help you navigate the conversation. Um, please speak more slowly. Can you please repeat that? And these are just going to help you be able to navigate through conversations when you're having a hard time understanding what's going on. And the way that you're going to get these translations um, is I have three websites that I recommend. Google Translate omniglot.com and wordreference.com. Then what I recommend doing is moving on to music. And of course, since I'm learning Romanian, the first song that I wanted to learn was Numa Numa. So I went on Google Translate, uh, Google Lyrics, and I looked up to the lyrics to Numa Numa. So I come in here, and the first word that I run into in this song is Haiduk. And that's the first word that um, I don't recognize. So I'm going to go to Google Translate and I'm going to type in Haiduk. And apparently that means outlaw in Romanian. And you can see I already have that there. And then you're just going to go through the rest of the song and find the words that you don't recognize. Um, and if you're brand new to the language, then you're probably going to be looking up just about every word. Um, but the great thing about this is that you're going to be learning these vocabulary words in the song, and you're going to be listening to this song every day. I listen to my language learning music every time I'm in the car. So you're going to be memorizing these vocabulary words, but it's not going to be difficult memorization. Um, it's just going to start coming naturally, and every time you hear the song, you're going to be practicing. So um, music is a great help for memorizing vocabulary. <clears throat> So after you get your personal phrase book of all the vocabulary words that you personally are working on, and I use Google Drive for this, but you can use a notebook or, I don't know, Excel or whatever works best for you. Um, I recommend doing something on the computer because then you can just copy and paste all this into your other programs. Um, so for example, I can copy and paste all, these are all my vocabulary words that I'm working on. Um, and then I can go to memorize and I can just copy and paste it, and you can see I already did this. Um, I made my own Romanian phrase book, 
And if you don't know what Memrise is, um, I've done other videos on this, but basically it's a flashcard course um, and it's digital flashcards. So I'm gonna click learn here and it's just a game. It'll show you the words that you're learning. So here's 27. Um, this is an important number for me because that's how I'm gonna tell people how old I am. And you can make your own courses on here. So let's get out of this. Um, I'll just show you really quick how to make a course. You're gonna go to course, create course. You're gonna type in the name, my personal phrases. All right, and then you're gonna go to um, advanced, add bulk words. Then you're just gonna go to your phrase book, copy and paste these. And you're gonna paste that right in there. And then you just gotta add a comma in between the English word and the Romanian word. And then you just go all the way down there and that's it. Then it'll create your flashcards for you. And um, it's a really easy way of practicing. You can get this on your phone and it'll send you reminders to practice every day. And it's just really good for learning vocabulary. The next step to learning vocabulary is actually using that vocabulary in real conversations. So you're gonna um, check out some of these websites um, some of these apps that are designed for hooking you up with people that speak the language you're learning. Um, and a lot of times they're trying to learn your language. So the first one I have is Interpals, and this is a pen pal website. So um, I use this all the time. And basically, um, you just, I mean, you can do search for people that speak your language. So um, look, uh, so I can go to languages. I'm gonna look for someone that speaks Romanian and I'm gonna search and voila, here are just a ton of people that speak Romanian. So you can message them and then um, a lot of them will be willing to practice Romanian with you. Um, Shared Lingo is another website. So this one is a little less personal. You don't create your profile, you don't include a picture. And this website is specifically dedicated to language exchanges. So it's not for dating, it's not for uh, anything else. It's just for practicing your languages with people. And here it shows you the country, what they speak, and what they're learning. So if you speak this language and you're learning this language, then you're going to want to uh, talk to that person. HelloTalk is just an app you can get on your phone. And it's a really great app for meeting other people. It's also specifically for language exchanges. So um, I highly recommend this one. Then Hi Native is a website that's dedicated to letting you ask specific questions about the language that you're learning. So you can just go on here and you can see that this guy is from Brazil and he's learning English and he wants to know what pretty decent means, um, which is, I guess, slang for pretty decent. Um, and you can come on here and you just ask all your questions um, and then you'll get native speakers that actually answer your question. Let's see if anyone has answered. Yeah, hello, see all these people are just answering this person's question. So if you have any questions about any of your phrases in here, like let's say you looked up, um, I'm learning Romanian, and you looked it up in Google Translate or um, wordreference.com and you still aren't 100% sure about the exact usage or the exact conjugation or noun declensions or something, um, then you can just go to Hi Native and you just ask a question and then you'll get native speakers of that language commenting and giving you answers. Um, so this is a really great resource. So the four steps for learning vocabulary that we talked about in this video, creating your own personal phrase book, learning the vocabulary from music, using Memrise or some other digital flashcard app, and then actually using your language with native speakers and practicing the vocabulary that you're learning. Now, you guys know me, you know that I love learning new things and learning new methods. So if you have a method that you use for learning vocabulary, I'd love to hear from you and potentially add another element to my repertoire, to my um, arsenal of language learning tools and methods. And if you want to keep getting more methods and more information about learning languages, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Finktumlings, and you can definitely subscribe to this channel. So thanks for watching my video, and we'll see you guys next time.